In this video, I'm going to be talking about helichrysum essential oil and why it's my go-to aroma in psychedelic therapy. So helichrysum loves growing and has grown abundantly in a small island off the south of France in a Mediterranean environment called Corsica. However, as it's a very popular essential oil, it is now grown all over the world, mainly um, in many of the um, Eastern European countries. However, my first advice to you is that if you are going to buy a bottle of essential oil of helichrysum, have a look on the label and try and buy one that was grown in Corsica because it actually loves that environment and it creates a much better oil. Okay, so what part of the plant is distilled? Often you'll see that it says flowering tops on the bottle. Um, it is the flowers that hold the most oil and make the best essential oil. These flowers actually um, contribute to another name that you might see this oil being called, which is immortal or everlasting. And the reason for that is because these lovely yellow disc-like flowers, when they're picked, they don't wilt. They have a very paper-like, crispy aspect to them. And because they don't melt, wilt, that's why they're often referred to as immortals or everlasting. So in traditional aromatherapy, its main use is for bruising and skin problems. So um, it's anti-inflammatory, anticoagulant, blood toning, blood circulating action really helps to absorb and uh, treat bruises in a, a very powerful way. It's extremely popular for that. In many aromatherapy schools, you'll hear it referred to as an oil for pain. It's a great wound healer. Actually, I remember a story um, with one of my colleagues when I was working at the herbal school in France, and we were going onto the um, field to do some botany, and she closed the car door extremely hard on her thumb. And you can all imagine the pain that that causes, the, the, the throbbing and the pain. And luckily, she had a bottle of essential oil, of helichrysum, and she put it on her thumb. And I promise you it was amazing to see how quickly both the pain and the bruising disappeared. Okay, so on to how it could be helpful in the psychedelic therapy situation. So one of the main reasons people decide that they'd like to do psychedelic therapy is because they know they have held down blocked feelings that they can't seem to um, get moving and these feelings can keep them held back in their lives. So in the same way as helichrysum is such a great oil for external bruising, for pain to the, to the outside of our body, it also has the same action and is able to get things moving and help support pain that is happening within. And that's really its principal use. So let me explain a little bit more. So, for example, as the sitter, you may sense, or the person may even tell you, that they have a problem that they can't, they can't cry. They're, they've learned from a, a, an early age to keep their emotions down, and they just can't get the tears out. This would be the oil that I would use for that. It really liberates these stagnant, blocked feelings and allows them to come up. And I have seen so many people start to cry for the first time in a long time just by smelling helichrysum essential oil. The other point that's important is that the main molecule or group of molecules in this oil are called esters. And they're very calming. They help with anxiety. They keep a feeling of sort of inner peace. And that coupled with the helichrysum's ability to get these emotions moving and coming up to the surface is really, really helpful because these emotions can be painful, can be frightening, or they are painful and frightening, and that's why the person has held them down. So this added ability for the oil to keep someone feeling calm and peaceful helps in that situation. And lastly, going back to the uh, sun-like flowers that are bright yellow and love the sun, um, this feeling of the, the plant that has absorbed all the sun and is really um, one with the sun also helps in the psychedelic situation because it's as if the flower is shining a spotlight onto these 
sort of repressed, dark, shadowy aspects where these difficult feelings have been hiding out. And, and that bringing light to them can help them um, move through us and stop our lives being blocked by these unconscious feelings. So although, as I mentioned, the esters are the molecule that scientifically has been proven to create this peaceful environment, the rest of what I'm saying really comes from my own experience, both my experience using helichrysum for myself and that with my clients. So let me explain a little bit. I have this thing and it's been there all my life and I know where it comes from. It's a sort of an ancestral story that I inherited that makes me feel as if I have a pressure in my face and that there are tears building up, but they never, ever come until I started using helichrysum. And in the right situation, when I was working on my own journey, um, straight away, I would, I, even now just smelling it, I can feel the feelings being activated. As I said, I've seen it happen time and again in the psychedelic space, where I, as a sitter, have realized that the person is getting nearer to this place where they're going to be releasing, but they need a little bit of a, uh, uh, a push. They need a little bit of a helping hand. And that's when I would use helichrysum. And I have also, I must say, seen it out of the psychedelic space time and again in the classes that I teach where we're using oils to journey. Um, and with my private clients, every time I've needed to help someone just express or feel something that's been held down. Here it is, and I've seen it again and again. Okay, so lastly, I would just say, all you need to do is smell. You can use this, I'm smelling from the bottle, as you can see, but you could use a scent strip. strip. That's the, what I advise you to use when you're in the psychedelic situation, because you could just lay it down on the person's chest and they have complete control about how near or far the oil is from them at the time. So, you know, I hope you'll get a bottle of helichrysum and try it yourself. And I would love to hear your experience with the helichrysum essential oil in this type of context.